no. Then this. And a man was laid down. He gave it up. They didn't take it. He says, no man take my life. I lay it down, he said. He says, no greater love than this. And a man would lay down his life for his friends. Thank you, Adele. No greater love. And a man would lay down his life for his friends. No greater love than this. Watch this. Have y'all ever been hurt by somebody? Have you ever been hurt by somebody you love? No greater love than this. That a man will lay down his life for a friend. No greater love. And when you understand that people are flawed, you understand that there is no greater love than this, then the mercies of God can start coming from you. The mercies of God, which is the forgiveness of God, can come from you. When I understood, that's my favorite verse in the Bible, they can put it on my tombstone. No, I don't care. When I understood, Rose, that there was no greater love than this. That's when forgiveness started manifesting from my life. I start forgiving everybody that's ever hurt me. I started forgiving myself for things I did to hurt me. Because I understood everybody that I charge for hurting me because they were supposed to have loved me. Because see, I charge some folk. You really charge people for hurting you that's supposed to love you. Oh, you really charge them. Oh, that charge would be great. Because what you say is you was supposed to do me like that. Why? Because I thought you loved me. And see, we've been, done been conditioned to think that love does not hurt. So nothing hurts worse than to be hurt by someone that you love. I'm going to say it again. Nothing hurts worse than to be hurt by somebody that you love. You can go to the grocery store. You don't know the woman. The woman says something slick out of her mind. For a brief moment, there is a thought that comes to your head. But when you leave, it's over with. But now you be hurt by somebody that you love or somebody that's supposed to love you. Now you go be hurt by them. Whoa! It ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. But when I understood that scripture, God help me today. When I understood that scripture right there, when that scripture became my origin, I realized no greater love has any man than this. That a man would lay down his life for a friend.
I started forgiving. I started releasing them. And I pray that anybody I've ever hurt will come to that place with me as to where they can release me for things I've done. Because there may be some people that are still holding me. I don't know. Because I have done things. But I pray that they can come to the place that I come to in order to make the release. But it was not until I could realize that I was putting an expectation on people Amen. that they Amen. could not uphold. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, it's when I realize you're putting an expectation on them, they cannot uphold it. Even if they put that expectation on you, you can't uphold it. Because there'll be something that'll happen. In the course of five years of people being cool with each other, you know something is going to happen. Some type of disagreement or something is going to kick off. Something. But when you understand that greater love has no man in this, it could be something as simple as you going through something and they don't show no, no, no care. So now you're hurt. It wasn't something that they physically just did against you. But say they didn't show up when you felt like they should have shown up. And so now you're hurt. You have this hurt. So now there is this element of unforgiveness that's inside of you regarding them. But when you understand that great, no greater love than this, you're able to release them. Because what it does is it gives room for the error, so that the error does not kill Amen. our relationship. Y'all understand? If you think that people are always going to be perfect and that they're not going to ever do anything, then you're automatically setting yourself up for failure. Automatically. So I know now, no greater love has any man in this than a man would lay down his life for a friend. I get it. So I was able to release the power of forgiveness. I pray that you all, God help me, can release the power of forgiveness. That you can learn to walk in the power of forgiveness. Amen. Forgive yourself for not Amen. loving yourself. Amen. You can think love back to things that you did right. and how you didn't love yourself. Look at some of the relationships that you got in and look back and be like, my God, why did I do that? See, that was a result of not loving myself. You know, yeah. allowing myself to be in certain yeah, predicaments right. was a result of me not loving myself. So it ain't always about other people hurting me. I got to forgive myself for things that I, I did to me. So I have to know greater love has no man than this. And I have to receive the healing from that love. Yes, Lord. I got to let that love, that's the only way you can heal, y'all, is when you allow that love to get a hold of you. That love, you're not going to heal with the human love. Human love is phileo love. It is touch and feel love. You are not going to heal with that kind of love because of us being people of error. Amen. So if you're looking for them to say something to make you feel a certain way or for them to do something to make you feel a certain way, it ain't going to happen. Amen. You've got to have the agape love of God. That's where the healing comes from for the forgiveness. I need y'all. I'm telling y'all, I'm digging in this house real hard. I'm digging. I need y'all to forgive folk. And I mean for real. For real, forgive folk. And forgive yourself. Forgive yourself as well. Some of the things that people did to you, you played yourself in their hand. You can't be mad at them. 
They were who they were when you got with them. They were a liar and a cheater when you got with them. So now you have you hurt? Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for even allowing yourself to go into that. And understand that greater love has no man than this. See, when you understand that, you will let God bring what he needs to bring to you. You will stop searching and stop putting yourself in predicaments when you understand that there is no greater love than this right here. You will trust him that he will put you in the right place. And as the Bible says, you will bloom where you are planted. You will let God put you exactly where he needs to put you. That's what he did for Ruth. He knew, he knew he wanted Ruth to have more ass. So what he did was, was call Naomi to say, hey, let's go. We about to move. What? We about to move. Took her straight over the boy ass field. And she started working in his vineyard. And he saw her. See, when God knows exactly where you're supposed to be in order for it to happen like it needs to happen. When you understand that greater love has no man than this. But if you do not understand that, you'll keep putting yourself in all these predicaments. Steady out here trying to find something. Any, many, mighty, more. Can't you make a bad toe. You'll be doing that. All oh, that's what you'll be doing, running around. But God knew exactly how to position and where to position that girl in order for her to have what she needed. in order for her to get what she needed. And so she could become who she needed to be. God knew exactly where to put her. So you gotta forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for the predicaments that you put yourself in. You just maybe wasn't as strong of a person as you thought you were, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with finding out the truth about yourself. It's the truth that makes you. So why are you scared of it? If it's the truth that makes you free, y'all, why are you scared of it? Why you hide it? Why you lie about it? If it's the truth that makes you free, why are you afraid of it? Why? Why are you afraid to tell it? Why? Why are you afraid to live it out? Why you keep covering it up? Huh? Why you keep hiding it? Them folk mistreating you like a dog. And you steady hiding it. You steady trying to hide it. You steady trying to cover it up. You know it's miserable. You've been miserable. But you steady trying to cover it up. Why? When it's the truth. What? That makes you free. Why? I sat down with some people uh, a couple weeks ago, last week, week before. I sat down with a couple, a young man and a young lady, and I sat down and this is what I said right here. Oh, no, I'm only here. I'm at the truth. I'm at the truth. Baby, when I tell you the truth came walking through there, I go, when I show up, I'm at the truth. Don't even ask to have no meeting with me if you don't want the truth. Because I'm coming for the truth. Oh, no, 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 I said, tell him exactly. How you feel? First thing she did was well, she started stumbling and she lied. I told y'all that's the first layer because of fear. Fear to tell the truth, wanting to hide from what is going on. So I created a safe environment. Nothing is going to happen to you. The truth has to come because communication and understanding brings you. All right. You got it. I said, so you got to talk about it. So tell him what it is that you did, that you don't like, what's going on. And she was. He got the opportunity. Tell the truth. Now you see how much freer you feel just from that? Just from telling the truth? Now, once we got the truth out, now let's figure out a plan, which is understanding. The Bible says, and all thy getting. Some understanding. Ain't that what it said? So okay, now that we got the truth out, let's bring some understanding to the truth. Baby, we brought some understanding to the truth.